Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the final match of this round robin series. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you should go check those out. Kind of the finals of the round robin series today, we have Tony versus Ivan. So guys, do you want to give them a little more background on your current UTR, maybe your peak UTR and your college tennis and ATP rankings? And uh, yes, so I played four years for USF and then played one year for Northwestern, played one and two there. Yeah. Uh, my highest, I was around a 13.6 UTR. And uh, last season at Northwestern, I was like top 60 yeah. uh, IT in college. Yeah. And then at one point, I did have like two ATP points. Yeah. Yvonne, did you have any really good wins uh, in your college days? Uh, yeah, especially last year, I had a few good wins. I had three top 20 wins. One of my, the last match I actually ever played, um, I beat a, a guy from Kentucky. He's ranked like 400 yeah. ATP, so it was a good win. Yeah, yeah pretty good. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> Tony? Yeah, um, I played also at USF with him, and uh, I played my last year at SMU. I played my basically my whole career at that, that, uh, three mainly. Um, my highest UTR was a 13-3, I believe, and I was always ranging between a high 12 and a, and a yeah. low low 13. Yeah. Um, also had two ATP points, and maybe uh, a notable win, maybe I played um, against, I don't remember his name, but he plays for Cornell. It's like top 20 in college now, I think, okay. also. Decent ATP ranking, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, 500. Uh, yeah, 500 ATP or something. So with two ATP points, you guys both got around like the 1500, 1500 in the world yeah. yeah. That's what you can get with two ATP points. Yeah, <laughs> nothing basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so you are teammates. You've played each other a bunch of times apparently. We played hundreds of sets in yeah. practice. <laughs> it goes both I ways. own him. Yep. <laughs> Where was, what was that one story about breaking a racket or ice cream or something? We have had some breaking of rackets playing for ice cream against each other, <laughs> so maybe today as well. Yeah, usually we, we're competitive, we want to beat each other, and yeah. sometimes we'll, we'll bet yeah. stuff, and yeah. you know, a couple have, of I'll times have rackets, have, rackets have suffered. I'll have this win today on him forever, so. We'll really see good. about that. Yep. All right, guys, if you had to summarize your game styles real quickly for the audience, how would you? Describe yourself. I mean, it depends on how I'm feeling on the day, but I usually just try to hit the ball as hard as I can and hope it goes in. I have a good forehand, pretty bad back end. So, you know, I try to not hit back ends and <laughs> run around it as much as I can. All right, guys, what racket strings and tension are you using today? I'm just trying out a bunch of new rackets uh, recently. Kyle was uh, nice enough to lend me his, and the E Zone, I like it. Yeah, Plays E Zone well. looks like Slinko Hyper G. Slinko Hyper G, why not? Is it at 50 pounds? 50, yeah. All right. I, uh, I'm playing with the Wilson Ultra, uh, long version, and uh, I use uh, Luxilon Alu Power strings yeah. and string at 45 pounds. All right. So Kyle, after losing some close matches to both of these two players, do you have a prediction of who will win today? I have Yvonne winning. Um, okay. I think it's going to be a close match. I think it's going to be come down to the very end. Yeah. Maybe 8-7, um, <laughs> come down to a very close tiebreaker. but. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I want Yvonne to win too. As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, help me reach 100k subscribers, and leave some nice comments for these guys for playing today. Please. Yep. Hey guys, we just released our college tennis recruiting platform called Recruited. Um, this would allow the player to connect directly to the coach through, through search filters. A basic premise of it is as a player, you would integrate your UTR and WTN numbers, post your results, a bio about yourself, and maybe some videos and photos as well of you playing. You can also upload your transcripts with all of your grades and you would upload a budget range that you could afford to go to school. And all of that is searchable by the coach and they will be looking for you. And then as a coach, you will manage the school's profile. And so as an example, if you were the coach of SMU, um, you would fill out uh, the profile uh, put all relevant rankings there from academic rankings, tennis rankings, what conference you're in, what de what degrees you offer, and any other relevant information. And then as a player, you're going to be able to filter out these schools, just like in, in LinkedIn. Uh, you're going to be able to search and say, I want to go to school in Texas, that's a top 50 academic school, top 50 in tennis, and I want to study engineering. And then any schools that have um, those premises will, will, will appear and you can connect to the coach and, and get recruited. There's hundreds of coaches waiting for you guys. Link is in the description. Thank you for listening. Wow. Is there ice cream on the line for this match? Free barbecue. Okay. You wanna pay for for something? You wanna pay for lunch? Yeah. Yo, I was kinda kidding, but <laughs> Yeah, we love this though. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs>
What? Could have been ours. Yeah. You guys, you guys judge that call, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same serve. <laughs> Should have called it out, Yvonne. I mean, if he goes out twice, the comments are gonna, they're, they're gonna demolish him, I, I think. think. There's a chance that one was in and I'm gonna get absolutely flamed. <laughs> Forehead. <laughs> Good? It was pretty close. I think wide. Yeah, he called it in. It was close. Oh, Tony's such a nice guy. Good guy, Tony. Man. No. Yes. Good shot, dude. Back and pass. Back and pass. Forever on the internet. It's a break, boys. Take on three. It's gonna be some rackets suffering, I think. It's your racket, though. Yeah, he better not break it. Huge.
There it is. Huge. All right, we need a break. We got soup. God, hits the flattest. I know. Yeah. Arm is so straight. Really <laughs> Oh, 
Just become in love for you real quick, very yeah. easily. No way. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Alright guys, that was a 8-5 8 game pro set that Tony ended up winning. So congrats Tony on winning the round robin series. <laughs> easy, easy work. <laughs> so Tony, you played pretty well. Um, what are your thoughts on the match and what you did well and maybe could have improved upon? I played well. Ivan got off to a very slow start, gave me gave me a break and then just mm -hmm. you know managed to to hold my my, my serve and, yeah. and get get the win. I'm happy I think I played well. Yeah. Um, Got got a lucky lucky shot at the end there with the with the lead court. You could have gone down love forty in that last yeah. game, but you, you turn it around. You were down love thirty already, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You turned yeah around, so. I think I again I played well and yeah. nothing nothing to add there. Yeah. Yvonne, any comments on how you how you played today? Got off to a rough start. Wasn't really feeling the ball much. Yeah. Playing around to the rackets a little bit. Yeah, so you probably have noticed he's switched from the Yonex back to the Wilson Ultra, back to the Yonex, so I it's mean, played better than then, played better than then, maybe got a little bit unlucky, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. He can Maybe use the racket as an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, any thoughts from you from watching the match? Oh, it was a pretty good match. Uh, just came down one break. One break, yeah. Yeah, that's all, it, that's all it is. Again, guys, our college tennis recruiting platform is out. It's released. Coaches are ready to sign you guys. Check the link in the description. Yeah. See you guys there. As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. Help me reach 100k subscribers so I can get a YouTube plaque. And then always leave some nice comments for these three guys for coming out to play for this series. See you on the next one.